two, one. And here we are with Celeste Classic 200% by Sexrix. Take it away. Hi. Yeah, um, this isn't Celeste Classic 2. Um, so we're just going to... Real quick. It was Adora that won the bid war for the name for the block, correct? Yes. A-D-O-R-A? Yep. All right. So, this is Celeste Classic 2, Adora's Trek. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. As you can clearly see here from the title screen. Uh, he is real. <laughs> so we are going to get going. Um, well, I guess I can explain. So this was released on the third anniversary of Celeste 2018 uh, as a as a follow-up to the original Celeste Classic, which was a three-day jam game released in 2015. This was made over three days by Maddie Thorson, Noel Berry, and Lena Rain, uh, and released on the anniversary Hi, I'm Sexrex. Lori D. Bunnykins is going to be here saying words and then playing a video sure. game after me. Mm-hmm. It's not Celeste Classic 2. Yeah. Does uh, that mean it's better or worse? Yeah. But yeah, so Celeste Classic was so good they made it too. Anyway, so we're going to get going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So... This is a little different from the regular Celeste in that there's no dash. Also, hello Midwest Speedfest. Uh, but there is a bridge that might look familiar that we're gonna fall off because there was no bird to save us. Uh, but we do get a grappling hook, which lets yeah. you fly off towards walls at incredible speed. Ooh. Nice grab. Yeah, moving into level one, uh, when collecting all the berries, there's one thing to note about this game compared to, like, 2018 Celeste, which is berry collecting, you can't really chain them. If you have a berry and you grab another one, the one you're already carrying just instant collects, which allows you to play a little bit more risky with berries because you don't have to worry about losing multiple at once. Yeah, so anyway, what you see me do when I grapple, like, the top corner of a ledge and go flying over it is basically if you grapple the top corner of a ledge, you'll go flying over it, like I did just there, trying to grab that spring. Uh, that's, that's used a few times here and there to, uh, kind of maintain speed when you're not really supposed to have it. So there's a few ways to maintain the great speed that you get from the grapple hook. Uh, first of all, you can just jump cancel out of a grapple. Uh, and that lets you go flying off in the direction you were moving, uh, and also, you know, maintain that speed. Uh, then there's also those corner grabs where you grapple onto a corner, and that kind of wraps you up to the surface or down underneath the block, and maintains that high speed from the grapple, and also sends you off. Uh, and that's really the name of the game, obviously, in any speedrun, is maintaining that high speed. This level has a little, a little bit of waiting with these snowballs to go in the right place. I don't think that last snowball has ever found a skip found for it yet. Uh, no, I don't believe so. So here we are in Golden Valley. All the people local to Minnesota from Red Speed Speedfest know why uh, I don't like this level very much. All the runners of this game know why I don't like this. As possible. Yep. It sounds like Minnesota lore that I don't know. It's the name of a city. Uh, I see. So I nailed both of the uh, the tough tricks there first try, which is pretty sweet. You got that very pretty quickly too. That's a pretty good one to get. It gives a lot of people trouble. There's one last little corner dash sort of thing. And then I choke the last berry. Because of course. Wait, just to collect that one, and that was time. That was a nice run. 
So here we are at the at the destination, uh, and Kirby is here, uh, naturally, because of course Kirby's here. Yeah. Because we are starting the Kirby block. Oh, whoops. Gotta type that correctly to load the Kirby block. So this is Ingest, which is a modification of the original Celeste Classic, uh, where you play as Kirby. Uh, but we are not playing normal Ingest, we are playing GTGF Ingest. Uh, so if we, if, I don't know if we're going to reset a timer or what, I think I'm just going to go, uh, <laughs> and we're, we're going to skin a Kirby block. So what GTGF stands for is got to go fast, which was a modification I made of the original Celeste back in 2016, where every time you collected a berry, Madeline started moving faster. Uh, so this is the GTGF modification of Ingest, where every time you collect a tomato, Kirby starts moving faster. Uh, this mod was made by someone... Oh, huh, I didn't realize I landed there. Uh, uh, I don't remember exactly when this came out, but this GTGF modification of it was made by Meep, the, uh world-renowned Celeste Classic moderator. Uh, moderator and, uh, modder. The dude who beat me was sub 2 and then he was sub. So obviously for 100% you can just kind of Kirby your way up to the top of screens, you know, as Kirby does. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna get the gym here so we get the song. No gym skip here. Uh, but you want to get a certain number of tomatoes so that you get your movement speed up to do this a little bit faster than your normal any percent would be. A hundred percent we don't actually believe is possible in this. Just because you just move too fast. Yeah, it's it's pretty brutal actually. Uh Is there like a max percent? Like, what's the highest anyone? Uh, on? we've we've gotten all but one berry. Is what's happened, and that is that's painful. I did it once. <laughs> the strat. Uh, you got yeah. This. yeah. Oh, the, the going under is so hard there. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. And then I screw all that up. That's that's double time, and that yeah, was G that G was yeah. in GTGF Fest. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the rest of the Kirby block coming up. I hope you all enjoyed the Celeste block. That was a good time. It's been a great marathon. Yeah. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out. <laughs>